guys, it's Christina again. Told ya, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna be slamming these videos out so I can get caught up. <laughs> um, I gotta get my website going, my blog site, I get that going. I gotta get, I was gonna go with Etsy, but I'm going with Store Envy instead. So I gotta get all my stuff listed in there. I told you, I'm trying to get caught up. So this is part two of my friend's baby, um, gifts. Um. This bag here is actually, you'll understand once I show you what's inside. <laughs> um, I used its scraps. Oh, y'all just seen that? <laughs> it just fell off. What in the world? That's been stuck on there. It's just like fell off. Okay. It's on there for now. But I guess it's definitely on there. <laughs> okay, anywho. These are some little tags that come out of the paper packet that I used. I'll show you guys in a minute. I'll go ahead and show you actually. Because I used it for what's inside. Can you guess? Can anybody guess what I, what's inside? Mm hmm. It's a secret. But it's. Yup! Paper Studio! <laughs> it's the Baby Girl 8x8 collection. And I have nothing left. It's all scraps. I've literally got one, two, three. Okay, I have five sheets left, but it's yellows and greens and yeah. Okay, let me show you what's inside. I got it wrapped up. <laughs> okay, I'm going to set this down and get this pulled out of the bag, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And, yes, I have the item out of the bag. Are you guys ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. Are you ready for this? Look, it's another paper bag mini album. Only my second one. Um, I did a different kind of seam binding. I didn't like the seam binding too much. Um, but it wasn't bad. I do like, you know, how the album turned out. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm in love with it. Um... If my name was Riley, I'd probably keep it. <laughs> but, no, I made this for baby girls. So, let me show you. Oh, I just, I'm absolutely in love with this. This I did not do in the purple and the zebra print. Because this is a baby mini album book. So, this, I, did, yeah. Um, But I did kind of try and stay with the color theme and everything. It is in the purples. And some, I got these little yellow pearls that are by Prima. These are Petaloo flowers. I just love these flowers. I tucked in some pearl hearts back here and I spelled out these are by, I don't remember, probably, you guessed it, <laughs> Paper Studio. Um, but I absolutely love these little letter stickers. They're just, the camera doesn't do it justice. They're all sparkly and purple and they're very, very cute and elegant and then here on the um, spine I did polka dot like um, embossed dots on it but I wanted something I wanted more of an elegant so I don't know so I added a lace trim on here I added this purple braid trim up here from Hobby Lobby this trim I'm not sure where I got the lace from, but it wraps all the way around. Um, but this I did get from Hobby Lobby, this braid trim here. Um, the side. I have been holding on to this flower for a very long time for something special. I didn't know what. Um, but, so she should feel very special. <laughs> um, that's for a very special baby, so she gets my pretty special flower. It's purple. It's a prima flower, and it's got these little things. I just left it how it was. Didn't add anything. I didn't take anything away. I just left it how it was. Um, this is the back. Don't ask about that. <laughs> no, it's got a little separate piece with Creative by Christina Mitchell. And then just some pink trim to cover up where the lace met the... So just to cover that up. <coughs> so on the inside, I have... Again, this tool, I tried to keep everything I made. I tried to kind of keep 
um, try to use like the same things that I use on each project to kind of make them go together. So I use this sheer ribbon here, and it just unties. This is just because, yeah, it kind of became chunky, so it kind of helps keep it closed and it adds to it. So, okay. So this was all in that paper pad that I showed you. All the papers and stuff that I showed you was in there. I, of course, I had to take some things out and, like, this card stuck, you know, yeah, that was mine. But this baby letters here with the little brackets, that was in there. And this is where she can add, you know, information. The baby's height and weight and stuff she was born. These are um, the gemstones from Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby. Added those on both sides, and then this is just a photo mat. And all I did is I just glued it down here at the bottom, and you can stick the photo that way the lace will overlap the photo, and the baby's face or whatever can be the main focus. So then I added some more of the little gemstones here that I added on the other page to kind of mimic it. And then this idea I did I thought was absolutely cool and neat and unique and yeah so here I made some little pockets which I'm gonna have to find a different way because I don't like the fact that this little gap here and the gap down here or actually no you don't lose the gap down here but the gap here and the gap here you kind of lose so yeah but anyways this is some of the paper that was in there I put some rose trim rose and pearl trim and then these cute letters come in it. That's actually what's together. It, yeah. Um, and then this neat idea. I made tags to come out. They're all trying to come out. But they're just little photo mat journaling tags. There's three of them in there. And of course, I'll have to put all this back together once I'm done showing you guys. And then here, I used the same paper that I used over here. This unties. And this one folds up. Of course, it's going to be difficult to show you. This one folds up. You can add, you know, the date information. And I put the baby hands over here. And then it opens up like this also. So it folds up and down. And that says joy. You got baby feet over here. And again, I added the green to mimic these cards and the green in here. I thought I just felt something coming up. I'm about to cry. I worked so hard on this. <laughs> but anyways, um, so, that's that one. And each one does have a hide a tag. That's what I call them anyways. Because there's no way to pull them out or anything. So I call it a hide a tag. But yeah, that's some just little cards that I distressed with my inks. Just took it. And each, of course, each page, like I said, I'll put it back together. And this I absolutely love. I was just in here staring at these two pages, like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? But, so, I decided. Again, gemstones from Paper Studio. Some more of the acrylic gem flowers. This is some trim that I got from Hobby Lobby. And it's a pocket. And it's the same on both sides. And you pull this out. And it's a little booklet. So you can put some journaling or a photo there and there. You can put a photo there if you want to keep it like that. And then you have one back here. I mainly did it so you could just keep that. So she could keep that plain as just a accent to the page. But she could do whatever she wants. It'll be her book. <laughs> and again, there's tags. And then here, I did the little insert tags with the three. I got the rose trim again. Baby elephant, baby, a heart with a flower, and this one unties also, it's the same. I basically did, you know, kind of almost a replica, yeah, a mother video, like I try to say, I just, like, yeah, <laughs> but you open this up again, it's got the baby hands and the baby feet, but this time it's got the pink lace here, so, yeah. And then you flip to the back. And these I thought were really neat that I did and decided. 
So, this one, these are little envelopes I made and attached to the back. And it's not secured. It just tucks behind this little moon here. And you pull this out. And it's got three, like, ACT size cards. You can put a photo or journaling. And it's got three baby animals. And like I said, all this stuff, except, you know, the stamps, of course. But, <coughs> excuse me, all the paper and little things, cutouts like this, all came in this paper pad. So there is absolutely enough stuff there to make a whole mini album. Okay, and then this one. This one, it's the same thing. It took upon the sun. So you got the moon on this side and the sun on this side. But you pull this out, and it's a little card. <coughs> And it says, to our baby. It's got a little baby here and a little heart rising stone. And you open it up, and there's an M here and a D here. This is so Mommy can write a message to Daddy. Or, <laughs> so Mommy can write a message to Baby. And Daddy can write a message to Baby. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Been sick. Um, so I get tickled in my throat. Um, so, you know, when Baby gets older... Little Riley gets older. She can always pull this out and just read it. And see what her parents wrote to her when she was born. I thought that was a pretty neat idea. So. It just tucks right back down in there. And there you have it. And. The hinge system I use. Like I said. It's. There's so much weight on here. It's not holding. But. um, I used. I guess. I don't know what it's called. It's like the hidden hinge I believe. I believe that's what it's called. Um, but I don't know if I like it too much. So I'm still trying different hinge styles and everything. So there's Baby Riley's um, baby mini album. Let me know what you guys think. I am super proud of it. And I just like here, of course, that's not going to be showing because it's be tucked in there. But you got, you know, you got your purple trim over here. And then you got the pink little trim sticking up here. I absolutely love this book. I really do. Um, it just, everything kind of, you know, you got the purple, you got this flower that accents this purple, and then you got these pink things up here that pull this pink out, and it just, everything just kind of comes together, and I absolutely love it. So, let me know what you guys think. Um, give me a thumbs up and comments, and, um, if you want to see more videos and stay up to date, um, hit the little subscribe button, and I'll see See you guys later. Bye.